Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I will tell about uh, VMware ES6.5 and installation and configuration. I've already created a whole uh, a bunch of videos in that and that is in the form of course, which you can take it for $1 in Skillshare. The link is right below. So this video will be a little bit big because the first phase we will let you know how to build your lab, what are the things are required in the lab and then I will let you know how to install this VMware ES6615 on top of VMware Workstation. Okay, so hope this video will be informative and if you like this, subscribe us and also hit the like button and I will let you know step by step how to do and install VMware ES6615. Thank you. Before we jump into create our own uh, lab, we need to know that our hardware, whichever we have like laptop or desktop, that is a supporting virtualization or not. Okay. To support virtualization, what we need is we need uh, virtual technology, which is VT enabled on your uh, CPU as well as uh, CPU should be supported VT as well as you need to enable it from your BIOS. Okay. So uh, what you need to do is to check that you need a tool, which is what it, uh, you need to go to a website called www.grc.com then securable. Okay. This is the link. So once you reach this link, you will be having a tool, uh, the securable. Okay. Just download this particular tool. I will download this and I will save it in our VMware training section. I will save it and you can see it is downloaded. If I open it and it will click yes and now it will give you the information what CPU model you have and uh, does it support hardware virtualization. This is important. If your CPU does not support hardware virtualization then this particular uh, lab you will not able to do so you need to have a CPU which is in a, which is enabled and capable enough to uh, do the hardware uh, hardware virtualization which is VT okay so it is uh, it should be yes so once this is showing as yes then you are good and then you can move forward and build your lab okay so I will see you in the next video okay to start this particular class you need to download the VMware ES6.5 version okay so we will be downloading the hypervisor that is the important ISO file for this particular whole class but you can also download the two packages which I'm going to suggest in this particular video okay so what you need to do is you need to go to Google and search for VMware ES6.5 download okay then you will be landing to the face um, this, this is the first page and first link you just open it and you will be uh, landing to this particular website which is a VMware website which says that VMware downloads v VMware vSphere okay and you can choose the version so here we need to download 6.5 which is the latest one and you just need to go down and select this particular um, version essential plus and VMware vSphere hypervisor this is the file which we need and you can also download this file as well which is a vCenter okay so I will let you know how you can configure this what are the requirements so the first thing first file which is required for this particular class is this download this you need to click download here and once you download you have uh, the details like this is the file size and this is the ISO format so I will prefer you to just download the ISO format and you can um, hit download now and it will start download I've already downloaded it in my place and I, will, I can show you that and in the VMware section you can see uh, I have the two files one is the hypervisor and another is the vCenter so you can download both files the, the first thing is required is this hypervisor uh, which you should download and in the next video I will tell you how you can install and configure the machine okay so in this video I will tell you what extra application you need okay so you, you also need to download this VMware Workstation Pro okay which is the version 12 which you can download from this particular link you just need to go to again you go to Google and search for VMware workstation uh, download you will land to this particular page which is from the VMware okay and once you have this particular um, tool you can download it for trial also you can download uh, this particular package uh, this, this is going to a pro version you need to purchase this particular product but if you want to have it you can download a trial one or you can download a player version that also work for you okay and uh, it does also have an open source version of VMware workstation 
which you can also use and download okay so once you download this the installation is very straightforward once you install it then I will let you know how to use that particular ISO which you have downloaded and then you can use this workstation to build your machine and I will show you step by step how to create a VMware ESXi 6.5 machine on top of VMware workstation okay so before we install we also need to know the hardware requirement here we can see in this particular URL we have a hardware requirement of ASXI 6.0 that is quite similar with the other requirements so basically what we need to do is we need to have a CPU which is 64 bit architecture okay and that CPU also do support Intel VT that I have already told you that the CPU should be having virtualization technology it should be x64 bit and also you must have minimum 4 GB of RAM it is recommended to have 8 GB or more but it is better to have at least 4 GB of RAM so if you are having at least 4 GB then you can build your machine I prefer to have 8 GB of RAM so that you can create some other machines as well as it is required in the whole um, uh, whole lab building a whole lab okay so this is it what you need to build your machine so let's move on to the next video now everyone this is Joy Banerjee from AIKD support and today I will let you know how to build build a ESXi machine on top of VMware workstation okay so for that we need to create a new machine I will select uh, the custom option and I will click next here and uh, I will choose the ISO later so I will click next here and here we will choose VMware ESX and I will choose the latest version which is 6 okay and I will click next so this is VMware 6.5 I will copy this and we have a directory on which I would like to create this okay I will select computer I will select lab and I will make one folder called VMware okay and I will click OK and I will slash and control V and click next here okay so I will select the number of processor which we have uh, here we have option to choose number of processor here I will choose 4 and I will click next and I will give a memory up to 8 GB I will click next here and I will be choosing uh, bridge networking and I will click next okay and I will click uh, next here and click ok I will click hard disk and here I will give uh, 200 GB uh, 200 GB and I will click next next and finish ok so machine is created so now I will point to the ISO file which I have here so I will go here, I will choose and if you go to G, if I go to the D drive I have a ISO and here we have VMware and I will choose this file which I have downloaded. I will click open and click open. So after this I need to power it on and see how it works. So I will hit the power on button here. Now you can see it says uh, ESXi 6.5. I will click enter. I would like to maximize this, and you can see it is now booting. Okay, now you can see we need to press enter here and we need to accept the license agreement so I will hit F11 so this is now going to scan the devices which we have now you can see uh, this is the device it is able to identify so I will select that and I will hit enter ok so I will go with use default if the keyboard ok I will hit enter and here we need to give the password of root Okay. 
and uh, I need to hit enter. Password did not match. Okay, I just want to confirm that I put the correct password here. Okay, hit enter. Okay, so now you can see the initial settings which we have done. That is fine, and uh, and also we whatever the disk we have selected that will be repartitioned. So I will click F11. I'm okay with that, and now it is installing the uh, ESXi 6.5.0. Okay, now you can see the installation is complete. I need to hit enter to complete this. So I will hit enter, and this server will be rebooted, and we will see how it looks after that. Okay, now we can see the machine is booted. So I would like to have a look how it really um, look. So what you need to do is you need to open your browser and hit this particular IP address, and then we can try to log in. Okay. Okay, so now you can see we can see this particular login ID and password. Uh, we we need to put our root ID here and we have our password with us. So I will be putting that password here and see how it shows. Okay, so now you can see. Uh, okay, I will uncheck this. I will click OK, and now it gives you a little bit of information that you have your. Um, uh, this uh, ESX machine is being set up and we can see how much memory we have, how much CPU we have and uh, how much the storage we can have. So as of now you can see there is no virtual machines and if you see networking we have two network cards which has been uh, created. One is uh, VM network, another is management network. So I uh, hope this particular video is informative and we can see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this particular video till end and now I will let you know that in case you want to get this whole series what you need to do is you need to uh, go to this uh, link in the description and grab this particular course which is for one dollars but when you grab it you will go, well, also going to get two months of subscription uh, from Skillshare and they have more than 16,000 of courses in their portal and you can get n number of courses and take it as many time you want to watch so thank you very much for watching this subscribe to our channel and there will be loads of videos like this in future as well thank you very much